I was born now, that I've been told, in 1977. Arguably, I shouldn't be sitting here talking to you. Um, uh, some would say that I was a survivor. I was a survivor of polio. He had polio infection when he was about maybe a year to 18 months. And it had, you get a fever, and um, only afterwards do you start to see what damage can be done to the nerves. It's, it's nerve damage from the spine to the muscles. And um, I mean, he was fortunate, it didn't affect any of his breathing, the nerves to his lungs or to his upper body. Um, and it, it only affected some of the nerves to his legs, one leg more than the other. I was paralyzed with polio. And it was because of polio that my original parents couldn't look after me. So thankfully, they gave me to people who could look after me and give me life as opposed to rehabilitation. Calcutta is uh, where I was born, in West Bengal, India. It is a city with a population of around 15 million. For some reason, since I was a child, I'd always wanted to go to Calcutta. Not India for some reason, I mean, but Calcutta specifically. And um, I went to the Child and Need Institute, Sini, which was just outside Calcutta. And the idea is to bring children and help children who had disabilities in Calcutta who could be helped and become part of society as they should be. I can remember the first time I met Goten. Um, we, Jane and I would, from time to time, go to Mother Teresa's orphanage, Shishu Bhavan. And so we would go there to see if we could assist with some of the children from time to time. And um, when we went there this time, there were, I think, three children um, who were there who were disabled, and one of them was Gautam. He had believed that his mother, his family would come back for him, and he overheard one of the nuns referring to him as an abandoned child. And he was completely traumatized by this. It was the first he understood it when he was, I guess, about three and a half or something like that. I could be the son of a doctor or a nurse, who knows? But whoever I was the son of, and I no longer have the ghost of those, the child I could have been or the parents I must have had, but it must have taken a lot of guts and a lot of courage to take me to the Missionaries of Charities, which is Mother Teresa's organisation. And when he came to us, Leaving then Shishubhavan, he was further traumatized, you know, he was being uprooted again. And he found it very, very difficult and cried all the time. In Calcutta, it's, you know, people are very well-meaning and they hate to see a child cry. And they kept on saying, stop crying, stop crying, <laughs> stop it, please stop it, no, no, no. And of course, the more they did that, the more upset he got. Um, whereas he would come and sit next to me and I would just let him cry. And so we formed a special bond because I would just allow him to cry, which is what he needed to do. Yeah, I just remember feeling quite safe with her, uh, possibly even someone that I trusted. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe Patricia was an angel that I had missed all my life. Um, and uh, my whole day seemed to brighten up whenever she came along. <laughs> 